everyone, this is Garrett and this is the Alpha of Road Redemption. This video is going to be a little bit different from what I usually do. It's going to be more of a showcase than an actual playthrough because this game is currently very early in Alpha. But it's really, really good and I want to show this game off to people. This uh, is a game that's very similar to an old game called Road Rash. I personally never played it, but I heard a lot of people saying they quite enjoyed it. It's basically a game where you ride on motorcycles and you can punch people off their bikes by using weapons and such. And it's really cool. And I want to show off a couple levels that were available in this alpha, starting with level 2. Now this level, you have to defeat 5 riders. You have several missions in each of the level, really. In this one, you just have to take down five people. And you do that with the weapon you start off, or the weapons that you steal from your opponents. The moment you knock someone off of their bike, you get their weapon if you don't already have it. And currently, it's not actually possible to drop that weapon. I don't know if that'll change later. Again, it's very early alpha. And it mostly just has the basics, but the basics are really fun. And every time you knock someone down, you get back a little bit of health, you get back a little bit of nitro, and you get back some money. They have stated that you can use the money for bikes and equipment and stuff like that, so that's going to be definitely pretty cool. And right now, we just have to focus on taking down the remaining two enemies before the timer runs out. Definitely not too hard. This is one of the easiest levels, I'd say, but it is just so satisfying to just randomly hit someone off their bike with a katana or with a steel pipe or a police baton. There are also police um, players driving around, and they're just about the same as the other bikers, really, except in races, they don't count as one of the racers, really. But after having taken those down... We can end the level and go to the next one, which is level 3, which is actually more of a race. And it may not be immediately obvious what weapon we have right now. In the bottom right, it shows off which weapons you have. But it'll become pretty obvious once we actually hit an enemy with it. And this was also one of the reasons why I'm even showing this game off, because I just love this weapon so much. But once we get close to this guy, a timer starts going, and he explodes and flies away, and it's... It is just the absolute greatest thing. It is just so very satisfying to just plant a bomb on someone's back and have them fly away. Now, if you actually get hit by someone else, you will actually lose health, as you can see in the top left of the screen. The red bar is your health and the blue bar is your nitro. And if your health runs all the way out, then you have to restart the level which is not so bad. It's just something that happens every now and then. Especially in some of the later levels of this alpha, it gets a little bit crazy when it comes to traffic. Right now, there's only two maps available, but they have separated it into eight levels where you just have several different objectives. Like, this one's just a generic race, really, except, of course, that you can blow people up. And the previous one, you had to hit a bunch of people. There's a couple more like that. Uh, and that's what you get for trying to be fancy when trying to look backwards while planting bombs. You can actually plant the bombs on cars as well, which may seem a little bit pointless because the cars don't actually give you anything, but I guess it might be useful if you want to just blow up traffic in front of people, which is actually really cool as well. Now, this is just about the end of level 3. I'm only going to show off a little bit of level 4 because it's a lot of the same really, except that you have pipe bombs. And pipe bombs are pretty great. This is just a small segment of the pipe bomb. You get a little rear view mirror and you can just throw them behind you. And it's, it's just so cool to see someone just explode in the background. And another cool thing is that if you explode, you start flying away. But if you cross the finish line, it still counts, which is the greatest thing. I don't know if that continues like that in the final game, but it's just so much fun. So there are different, several different traffic flows in this game. This one is crazy mode. The previous ones were just basically normal. But crazy mode adds a little bit of a, a different type of difficulty to the game. I'm not sure how it changes the car mechanics. What I do know is that everyone just starts rolling around everywhere. And it's absolutely crazy. And it's really cool because like the AI actually has trouble avoiding the cars as well. Like, sometimes you'll just see a motorcycle get hit by a car and just fly away. It's just so great to see that happen. And as you can see, like right now, it, it is called crazy mode because everything's just flying all over the place. 
And <laughs> that, that guy just flew away. It, it is just so interesting to see. Like, it's two different levels, but they, they managed to do so much with just the different settings. Like, this is going to be level 7. Level 6 is just another just race, I believe, or just kill 6 people. But now this is the car storm, which is in level 7 of the alpha. And cars are just flying from the sky. <laughs> I think at, there was a, at some point an alpha where it was just rain, but then they replaced it with cars. And it's, it's a good change. I, <laughs> I um, had not played something like this before, I would say. It kind of reminds me of Carmageddon in terms of just how silly it is, really. But... It's just so much fun. Like, I, I enjoy a game that just doesn't care and just has fun with it, really. And that's, there's just so much about this game, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to see what else they're going to do with the game. And, like, stuff like this is just great. I really love arcade type games, especially when it comes to racing games. I don't really care about realism. <laughs> and seeing stuff like this, especially since the AI is having... Pretty much the same amount of trouble with what's going on in the world. Yeah, it's just great. Because usually you'll just see games like this where the AI just rubber bands through it. And it's just, well, okay then. And this is actually the last level of the alpha. Vehicles hate us now. And they're, you notice it. You, you definitely do notice it. Like all the cars will just drive towards you now. And... They don't really care much about the AI. Also, the AI sometimes has those bombs as well, and you lose quite a lot of health when you get hit by that. But you do notice that the cars, they don't target the AI specifically, but just because they are so aggressively going towards you, they don't care that the AI is there. Like, they're just going to drive straight through everyone to get to you. And it works. It, it works somehow. Y you can definitely avoid most of it. Sometimes you'll get hit by something which you can't see, and that's that's kind of sad. But most of the time, you'll be able to see the cars coming. You can use other cars as shields, as you can see, because they will just try to drive through everything. And the cars that are actually driving in the same direction as you don't try to kill you, which, which is probably for the best, because otherwise it would be impossible. But every now and then, you'll get stuck in this loop of just cars that are trying to hit you. <laughs> and there's... Really not that much you could do about it, aside from maybe driving off the road. <laughs> but something like that, it's it's unfortunate, but it happens. Fortunately, that car was there to block it. We pretty much have no health anymore. It's barely even visible, but as long as you have one health, your bike will still work. There's not really any type of damage, I suppose, in this game, as to, in terms of that it affects your vehicle. But it's fine, really. The, the way... The way it works right now, it's really nice, and it's it's just great. I I absolutely love this, and I hope other people do too. I would love to see this game go somewhere, and that would that would just be great for me. I wouldn't mind being able to play this game against other people. And again, as long as we cross the finish line, it counts. Right now, there is a small bug where it says that it's restarting the level, even though we lost all our health. But we crossed the finish line as well. It's it's fine, really. But that is Road Redemption. It is so much fun. And I would love to see people play this game. Right now, as I said, it's in very early alpha. There are definitely some issues with it right now. There are some performance issues. Like, I sometimes had difficulty running the game when there was just that much traffic going on at the same time. And it would sometimes dip below 30 FPS. And it was kind of a hassle. But they have stated that they will try to increase performance in the next alpha and that's just one of the things that happens during an alpha build really and they're gonna add stuff like a career mode which you can play online with other people there's gonna be all sorts of stuff there's gonna be guns you can grab people later they mentioned grappling hooks there's a trailer right now which you can click on by clicking on the annotation in the video right here that shows off 96 seconds of gameplay and it shows off some really cool stuff as well like Aside from just driving through the desert and stuff, there's also just areas where they drive over buildings just on the top of rooftops and stuff and like that, and it just looks really promising. And uh, I hope people will check it out because it looks really cool. You can buy it on their website right now. It has been approved through Steam Greenlight as well, so it should probably eventually be on Steam as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it really. I. I really like this game so far and I would love to see where it goes in the future and 
I'll probably keep playing future builds of it because I just think this game is hilarious and it would be great if I can convince some other people to play this game with me because it would, it's just so much fun. And I would love to see this game in multiplayer at some point. Right now in the alpha, there's only local split screen and that unfortunately doesn't really work for me, but it'll work for other people, so that's cool. But that is that. That was Road Redemption. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that is the end of this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.